Hey there, Dan Freeman and Dr. Dan's Bite Diesel here. Let's talk about some TDI performance issues. Almost uh, everything in the world gets blamed on Bite Diesel from flat tires to mice to, uh, to having your radio not work right. Um, so let's dispel some of those myths and fix some of the very common problems that the TDIs have. These are problems that are common no matter what fuel that you use. Uh, plug fuel filter. Uh, it's incredibly important to have a good clean fuel filter. The plug fuel filter causes resistance so the injection pump doesn't get enough fuel, the fuel's lubrication for the pump, no fuel, no lubricant, and that equals expensive dollar sign. So anytime the vehicle runs any differently at all, the first thing you should do is check or change the fuel filter, look and see what's inside of it. We've got uh, a video about how to check for restriction and uh, also how to change the filter. Um, other performance issues, uh, you're being slow, uh, hard start, um, long crank time, uh, on and on and on. I'm just going to go through our, our normal list of stuff. Fuel filter is always first. Uh, the second will be the uh, air system. Uh, air filters get plugged up on these pretty easily. You just uh, pop off the connection of the mass airflow sensor, two screws back here, gently tip it up. There's the filter. Um, and we do a, a drop test. This one's pretty clean. We just drop it on the ground, it leaves a big pile of dirt. You need a new one. You should clean out the air box. You'd be surprised at all the nasty things that we find in there. The, uh, and before the air box, there's a, an air duct that goes to the front of the car so it gets good, clean, um, cold air instead of the, the dense, hot air. And uh, so you gently pull this out, twisting motion, and then you try not to drop your tools when you're on camera, like I already did. And undo this one nut here. And inside here is the snow screen. This one's already been removed, but uh, you just remove those two screws and then we just cut out the screen. Just inside there, you be, I've seen so many gross things. Uh, uh, dirt, bugs, leaves, grass. Um, all kinds of nasty bits. You scare small children all over the place with that. And we usually mark it with a pen so you can tell it's been done so we don't take this out 19 times. Uh, and also, mass airflow sensor. Uh, it causes all kinds of, of weird and interesting uh, ailments. That's this guy right here. Um, there's a new updated part that I just recommend uh, installing regardless. The uh, old style looks like that. It has a little skyscraper in the middle of it. And here's the new style. It has a, a little Venturi. It makes it uh, more accurate. And uh, there are all kinds of ways to test these, but you know, as with electronic bits, their failures are intermittent. And so we just stick one on it takes just minutes to install if the car runs better than it needed it and I would I'd call this preventative maintenance when a mass airflow sensor goes bad it can lead to um, hard starting, uh, low performance um, excessive fuel consumption, uh, smoking uh, uh, plugged uh, intake and uh, EGR issues so it's, it's an important one um, Another important one is the coolant temp sensor. I uh, can't quite see it right here, but it's fairly easy to, to access. It's on it's at the opposite end of this uh, uh, radiator hose here. There's an electrical plug and a little plastic clip with an O-ring that holds it into the motor. They're inexpensive. Um, they go bad. By the time it sets the check engine light, the problem's been you know, going on for who knows how long. Uh, I think it's a good idea to replace those uh, every three, four years. Um, intake. Let's take a look at the intake. Need a 
something to squeeze these together, pliers, vice grips, or this handy dandy tool. And release the pressure, pull it off, and then just peer inside. Uh, many folks have had their intake uh, cleaned out more than once. I think that's a, a terrible waste. Uh, it shouldn't have gotten plugged up in the first place. That's usually from a bad mass airflow sensor. And lots of people panic when they see any dirt in there. It's going to have uh, motor oil vapor from the crankcase vent and there's going to be some carbon. But you're looking for generally uh, an open hole so that you know enough air will get into the motor. Um, yeah, you, you can't really see in there. So we usually use a flashlight and a mirror uh, to, uh, to look inside. Uh, okay, and uh, another thing is uh, low performance, uh, hard start. If the uh, injection pump has had to suck fuel really hard from a plug filter or, um, or bad fuel pickup, this is a little uh, pressure rel relief valve in the pump that it'll get its guts completely sucked out. And the valve will come apart and it'll be long crank time and uh, low performance. There's a spring, a piston, and a little snap ring in there. You can see that that's out a little ways. So we just uh, whack it with uh, something and get it back in there. If they're really bad, you'll have to fish the, uh, the guts out of the pump uh, with a magnet. Um, there's that. And, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Another thing is just the general state of the hoses. There's uh, lots of vacuum hoses on the motor, like what controls the turbo is a vacuum hose. There's the uh, uh, N75 valve here. Uh, that connects to the computer, connects to the vacuum pump, that tells the, the turbo well, what to do. Uh, that valve goes bad, and also these hoses. Mice will chew on these. Uh, these will get all uh, chafed and chewed up or misrouted from uh, other work, so you just want to make sure that they're all in good shape. Uh, these look pretty good. Actually, some of them look pretty darn new, like they've already been, uh, been uh, replaced. Um, and the... Uh, N75 valve, that was one of the most frustrating uh, things ever when the uh, new, when the 04 and a half uh, Passats came out. Uh, you'd be driving along and then all of a sudden it wouldn't make any power until you turn the key off and restart it. They were great for a while. That got blamed on biodiesel. We lost uh, all kinds of customers, but it's just because the, the valve would fail and, uh, and then the dealer couldn't reproduce the, the problem. Um, so that's pretty darn common and uh, you know there's lots of talk about the uh, turbos getting all gummed up but you know I think that's usually if the rest of the system is screwed up as in the mass, the coolant temp sender um, and you know sometimes the fuel temperature sender goes bad but uh, you know these rigs are Awesome, they make great power, they get good mileage, so have fun.